Okay, we have this rectangular garden and there's a walkway around it, so fun, I get to draw it. Here we go. This is the garden here in the middle. Rectangular garden, the walkway goes around it. This is the walkway here. Okay, well, what they're asking for is the area of the walkway, given that the dimensions of the garden is 12 and 18, so width, length, width 12, length 18. Now, what are they giving us? This extra information that, hey, this walkway here is three feet wide on it. Everywhere you go, so three feet here, three feet there, three feet over here, three feet here, and three feet down here. So what are we doing to this resulting figure, this big rectangle? What does that become? Well, let's start here with the width first. First, here we have 12, then we add three, which becomes 15, then we add another three here, which becomes 18. So now we know that this big triangle here has a width of 18. So what does that leave us with the length now? Well, we add three on both sides again, three here and three here to the 18, which gives us a total of 24 for the length of the big rectangle. Now, to find the shaded area or the walkway, we want to subtract the area of the big rectangle, subtract the garden from that, and that will give us the area of the walkway. So how do we do that? Well, let's set it up. We have area of the big triangle, 24 times 18, minus area of the garden, which is 18 times 12. Move this out of the way right there. OK, so what does this equal? Well, again, you can, of course, go to the calculator, punch in the numbers, and you have the answer. But I think it's still a good thing to show, show people mental math tricks, shortcuts, etc., because sometimes it actually makes things faster. So notice here I have 18, and I have 18. I'm going to factor this 18 out, and I'm going to get 24 minus 12. Again, note I've brought both of these outside of the parentheses here. It's 24 and 12. So that if we were to reverse that 18 times 24 minus 18 times 12, we'd get back to here. That here being right there. But why am I doing this? How am I simplifying it like this? Well, notice what, what is 24 minus 12? It's easy. It's 12. So now we have 18 times 12. So all of this mess became simply 18 times 12. Now we can do the quick math on that, or you can even notice something else. 18 is the same as 6 times 3. 12 is the same as 6 times 2. Notice that I have two 6s here, and then 3 times 2 is also 6. You should know your cubes, and 6 cubes is 216, which is the answer.